Hi everyone, it's Friday. Um, I'm finally doing a video of something I made. Oh my gosh. I lost, uh, as Rena would say, my crafting mojo and I just... Uh, oh well. So I guess I found it. Um, but I was very inspired by Bona. She, um, she had shown in one of her videos of these altered... Um, what do you call them? Bottles. And I know a lot of peop other people have have done them, but I don't know. Um, whenever Bona does something, and it's just gorgeous, and it just makes me want to go out and, and try it, because that's how inspiring she is to me. <laughs> um, so I was on a hunt for these bottles, and I went to my local Joann's, and... and I could not find them. So I went to a Michael's and I was like, well, let's see if they have something. And I didn't want to pay a whole lot um, for these bottles, but I found one that I thought was decent, you know, decent enough for me to alter. And um, it was only a dollar nineteen, and um, it's about seven inches tall. And, um, and let me show you what I did. So, here is the bottle. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm alter I made this or altered this um, bottle for Nikki. And um, I hope you like I hope you like it, Nikki. Um, this lace here is sprayed with um, purple glimmer mist. It kind of looks blue on my screen here, but it's actually a really pretty purple um, color. Um, so let me explain what I did. Um, the lace in the background is uh, from a glimmer mist class I took last year um, at the scrapbook convention here in Virginia. And we use this as a stencil. You spray the glimmer mist onto the lace, and the you know the um, what do you call it? The pattern of the lace trans um, it shows up on the piece of paper as you glimmer mist, or as you miss the you know yeah as you miss the glimmer mist. <laughs> la la la. Um, so I kept it thinking what in the world am I going to do with this piece of lace and I saw it and I remember that her one of her favorite colors um, was purple so I was like oh perfect um, I trimmed it because um, it was a 6x6 six six square um, piece of lace and I just cut an inch on the top stuck it down and covered the entire bottle um, and I bought this, I think it's a sprig from Recollections that I got on sale. And I saw it and I had to buy it for this particular project because I thought it would just look beautiful. Um, this bottle is square. It's not round. Um, so I made it where each panel had a little bit of that, that sprig of, of flowers and there's a little bird and it it already had these little pearls on it so I thought it was really really cute um, and then here is the other side so each there you know each side has a little little part of the sprig um, that I cut apart um, I used some of this lace well it's not lace it's just um, like a yellowish ivory uh, trim that I got I think it was from Debbie um, I think it's uh, mom to a doctor I, I'll have her her um, <clears throat> YouTube channel on the screen but she had given me a whole bunch of trim um, either for my ATC swap or just a swap <laughs> and um, I thought it went really well with this bottle. 
And then I added some really tiny pearl trim, pearl beads or whatever you want to say. <laughs> um, and I did that uh, on, on the top here and also on the bottom. And then I added um, some on the very top here of the bottle. Um, so that one inch of the lace, I just kind of tied it in a bow and added it to the top here. And then here's another piece of that sprig flower with the one of the pearls. Um, so you so um, you can actually put whatever you want in here, Nikki. I didn't want to do anything to the cork. I was going to hang something, but uh, decided not to. So, and then I kind of um, intertwine the lace, uh, not lace, uh, pearls all the way around the bottle. So it really looks really pretty. I just love how this bottle turned out. I'm going to buy me a couple more to alter and to give as gifts. So I hope everybody is having a great day. I probably won't upload this until she receives it, but... Um, Hope everyone is having a great day or week or um so thanks for watching guys bye